Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Just some hours ago, the Yoruba actor's daughter was celebrating becoming a Canadian citizen. And a page on Instagram, 2002 events, celebrated her and wrote, Congratulations, baby girl, God did. Say hello to the latest Canadian citizen. As you all know, Pasuma is one of the top Fuji artists in the country. Some of his fans call him Ogala and others call him Ijoba Fuji. In fact, he has a lot of nicknames, but these are the popular ones. He's also among the most successful Fuji musicians. He started since the 1960s when Ajiwere bands added unique elements to their up all night Nigerian music genres. He started in the 1960s when Ajiwere bands by adding unique elements to the Ajari around that time. He has been quite open over the years about his grass to grief story. And though he has not publicly claimed any woman as his wife, and though he has not publicly claimed any woman as his wife, but he has about 10 children. He's a doting dad, he usually posts his children on his official social media platform. And like many Nigerians, he has sent his children abroad. And this is daughter is celebrating becoming a Canadian citizen. And the person who was celebrating her at reading congratulations, baby girl, as Ella mentioned, God did. Hello, say hello to the latest Canadian citizen, all happy about his achievements. But well, it seems some Nigerians are not happy about this. Some are saying this is not worth celebrating, as some of them who have multiple citizenship in top countries do not celebrate them. And another person claimed this is a sad loss to Yoruba land. Why? Well, some people celebrate every achievement as no achievement is considered to be too small. However, these people are saying this is too little for Ogala's daughter to be celebrating. And the other person claimed this is a sad loss to Yoruba land. But we still do not understand this sad loss to Yoruba land. What in what regard is this a sad loss to Yoruba land and is this truly a small achievement that should not be celebrated or is it or is it even an achievement at all? At this moment, Pasum has not shared this on his own official social media platform. As I mentioned, he has ten kids and is a doting dad, always celebrating his kids. These are some of his kids. The first child of Pasuma is Wasila Talabi. That is why some people call him Baba Wasila. She was born on 22nd of January in 1993. So she's currently in her 30s. She was born on 22nd of January in 1993. She graduated from Leeds City University, which is in Ibado, part of your state, the your state capital. The second daughter is Barakat or Detola. Barakat or Detola was born on 21st of October. Just like her elder sister, she, she attended CT. And just like her elder sister, she also attended Leeds City University and studied international relations and diplomatic studies. After this, Wasila proceeded to the University of Lagos for a master's degree in international law and diplomacy. Barakat is happily married to Olajuwon Baba Tundibiru. They got married on 8th of April 2021. In fact, her marriage ceremony was everywhere in the media. The day she got married, her father was even crying when he gave her to the family of the groom that day. It was such a beautiful event. The third daughter is Odetola Rokibat Omobola. She's known for venturing into business. Rokibat is also a graduate and the CEO of Roki Entertainment. The fourth person is Okoyemi Odetola. Okoyemi Odetola. Is an American naval officer. She completed high school in Georgia and she was commissioned into the American Navy in 2020. And the fifth child is Ajibola Odetola, a son. He is one of the sons. He's an American based young man and he has about over 10,000 followers on Instagram. His mother is Alaja Adike Barbara. The sixth one is Alia Odetola. Alia Odetola was born on 8th of July 2002, and very little is known about her. The seventh child is Wariz Odetola, another son. 
it was born on 28th of May. So these are the kids of Pasuma. He has 10 kids. But it is common knowledge that the rich in the country have multiple citizenships, mainly for the purpose of traveling with ease and all that. It is not something they would say they celebrate according to some. But it is known that many people have dual citizenship, rich people especially in the country. Mainly for the ease of traveling. You don't have to go and apply for visas and all that every time you want to travel. And some people are chastising Persona's daughter for celebrating being a dual citizen. So is it truly something that should be celebrated or it is not to be celebrated at all? Especially for someone who is the child of Wasu Alabi Persona, one of the most successful Fuji artists in the entire country. Persona has over 35 albums, including his debut, Recognition which was released in 1993. It has become quite successful over the years. This artist had not completed the secondary school education when he recorded his first album with Aurora Records. And after his high school, he released his second album, Choices, and the third one, Horrible Kibo, which earned him the best Fuji artist at the FMA Awards. Now, many people will argue that the state of the country is making many people leave the country, which is not just about your financial capability. However, some people would also say that a true citizen of the country should stay and fight for the good of the country. It's rejoicing that they are citizens elsewhere. Kasuma has released many hit songs. Some of his albums include Recognition, Choice, or Bokibo, Computer, The Man, Confidence, London Experience, London Scoop, African Puff Daddy, Entertainer, American, Extravaganza, Desperado, Han Juka, Judgment, Unique and Superior, Fuji Motion, Maintain and Sustain, Importer and Exporter, Initiator, Stability, In and Out, Infinity, Role Model, Feel It, Ability, Nyaki Party Time, Four Pass, Influential, Purity, December Tonic, Tomitilu, My World, Hip Hop Album, me, myself, and I, undefeated, compatibility, goodness and mercy, wisdom, and maturity. And of course, apart from being a musician, he is also an actor. He has featured the movies like In Your Jail, Aleni, Barry, and Gang of Lagos. This is just to mention a few of them. So, some people are saying this is not worth celebrating. What do you think about this? And we have come to the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned on the two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.